I don't want to cry. Can you not record? I mean, she was literally the person I fell back on, you know, like, when I counted on to actually be there mentally and emotionally. Well, I got with Margarita, she was 14, I was 15. I was kicked out of the house and um, she would give me breakfast, bring me a toothbrush, give me socks in the morning so I can go to school. I was homeless for about a year, got my own apartment. She moved in with me. I also had a roommate staying with me at the time. So one day when I was leaving to work, I asked my roommate to go ahead and you know take off. It was just a, a studio apartment. And I didn't want them in the same room for 12 hours at a time. Because I didn't trust him or her, I set up a, a video camera to record while I was at work. And uh, you hear knocking at the door, you hear his voice asking for a glass of water. And she says, no, why don't you come on in? And he tells her, no, Andrew don't want me here. She continually asked him and said, Andrew won't know, Andrew's not here, he's not gonna find out, come on in, come on in. Then the lights turn off and you can hear sex going on in the background until the camera died. I confronted her, she broke down crying, saying, I know, I know how it sounds, I know how it looks. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but none of this happened. That didn't happen. I didn't know what to think. I wanted to believe her, I loved her. So any, like, any arguments we ever got into, she would say, that's why I cheated on you, or that's why I'm cheating on you, and then always take it back. I'm just mad. I say stuff when I'm mad that I don't mean. You can't believe it. Then we had kids, and with my first son, it popped back up. That's why I'm cheating on you. I'm pregnant, and I'm cheating on you. And just recently, I went into her phone, got into her phone, I just pushed A, and it pops up my name with the S, Andrews. And I pushed the same button over and over. Andrew's not here. Come by, we can have sex over and over again. She would be allowed to go out and do things that she would want to do if she would have never ever told me that she was cheating on me and that I could actually trust her. To have her location pinpointed, to have calls forwarded. I know when she's texting and when she's calling somebody. Uh, the picture she takes gets sent to my phone. Well, if she fails, she's gonna have just have to understand that some things are meant to be and some things aren't. You just gotta live and let go. I always felt like I was alone and she's the only one there for me, so. I don't know. Uh, Margarita, uh, 10 years to be haunted by a recording, right? Mm -hmm. What, he, what, stuff like a tape recorder under your bed? Or? It was his phone. Oh, it was his phone? Yes. So this happened 10 years ago? Yes. And he had a roommate and his friend comes by and says, can I have some water? Okay, that, I don't remember him asking for water. I remember him coming in. I'm, I'm on the bed watching TV. It was a studio. So it's just basically a room and then a door in the kitchen. So he knocks on the door, comes in. He's like, um, so I'm gonna grab my stuff. Andrew uh, told me not to be here. Right at the, that point, Andrew was working across the street. Right, literally across the street. He's like, um, Andrew told me while you're here, I can't be here. And so he was grabbing his stuff. I'm like, you, don't, you live here, you don't have to go nowhere. Like, me being kind. You're being nice. Yes, I'm not gonna, what are you gonna do? You're gonna go sit in your car? You're gonna go park somewhere, just sit in your car until Andrew gets off of work? So to me, that wasn't fair, just because you have trust issues shouldn't affect your friend. So um, after he gets his stuff, he leaves and I turn the light off and I'm watching TV. The thing that I barely realized out of these, this whole 10 years was we had a ceiling fan and the ceiling fan was broken. So what I'm thinking what he heard was the ceiling fan and I admit it does sound like we're having sex and I told him that when he confronted me. When he got, right after he got to work, he shook showed me the phone and it was right there where like plain view and I, you didn't see it i didn't see it because it was uh, against because you would have turned it off <laughs> and um he he's showing me i'm crying he shows his i remember i guess he showed his friend and his friend saying yeah it sounds like we're having sex but we didn't right. and i guess the ceiling fan sound sounds like headboard hitting the wall i've been with him since i was 14. um and how old are your kids now uh, two and five. And you had kids after this incident, right? Yes. And you have told our producers, you've never even kissed another man. I never, in a relationship with him, I've never kissed another man. I never touched another man. I never had sex with another man. Nothing. And... And you're 27, and how long you been with them? 13 years. Okay, so since you were 14 years old. Since I was 14, old, yes. Yeah, it's a pretty long time. Mm -hmm. Um, And in the whole time you are with them, you never cheated on them? No. Never. Why, why did he record you in the first place? That's what I want to ask him today. 
and um, did he not trust me? Is it his trust issues, or was it he didn't trust his friend? Now, in this past 10 years, how often does it come up, this recording? Every, every, every day, or at least every other day. Okay. If I'm, I recently found out, like a week ago, when I was talking to your producer. She helped me find this out. So, I'm at work, so she's calling me, hey, are y'all still good, you know, whatever. To come on the to show. To come on the show. I'm like, okay, so I'm at work, so I, I decline it, because I, I can't answer my phone, I'm, you know, I'm the cashier. And um, on my break, I call her, hey, hey, Brittany, um, how are you? I missed your call. She's like, oh, I already talked to Andrew. How did you talk to Andrew? I don't, you don't even have his number. How did you? So we did a little investigation. We found out that he's forwarding all my calls to his phone. That's how he answered. You get what I'm saying? Right. And um, every, so he's got like some kind of app on your phone. I guess so. I, I don't know what it is, yeah. but every picture I take, like if I take a selfie, boom, it Andrew goes get to it. Him. Andrew, yeah. If I send a message, it'll it go goes to Andrew. To him. It's like being in jail. Basically, yeah. Yeah. Do you, uh, you got, you're, you're not married though, right? Um, no, we're not. Yeah. But you're uh, We want to get married. You want to get married? And, yeah. To who? To Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you see a future with him? Yes, I think after this that he he'll, proves that. He'll turn normal. Yes, I really do believe that. <laughs> I do. Are you going to make me look like the bad one, Marga? You know what we heard on that video. I, okay. I left the video recording. And it's not that he came in and grabbed your stuff, grabbed your stuff real quick. It was, no, hey, come in, please, come in, please. Because he why don't are you have to tell know. him to go? He, so he lived look, there. And you could see, he, he lived, lived there, my ad, look, He look, didn't live there? Look, so what is he doing okay, there? Yes, but still, look. It's one bedroom, and you can see everything. Okay. The lights are on. You can see everything. You can hear the TV. And I didn't hear that. So it wasn't just a video. No. It was a you video and AC, audio. Yes. And I don't you hear the light turn off. I see the so lights So you saw us having sex? I hear the, 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 so the you saw us family guy's playing. You hear family guy. All of a sudden, you see no lights. You it's hear a great no show. TV. My okay. son watches You hear no time. TV, and you, all so you, hear, you... you don't just hear the headboard. You hear moaning, moaning. So you believe okay. on okay? Hold so, on a second. So on that tape, you believe that the woman that gave you two children was having sex with your friend. Is that what you believe? Cameras, uh, camera and pictures work. Is words, that what right? you believe? I did. Okay. Do you still believe that? To this point, I do. I mean, okay. I wouldn't be the Why way would I am. you stay with her all this time if you believe that? Because she helped me out a lot. Well, you, this is your woman. How do you think I feel? I don't even think it hurts me as well. But if she didn't do anything... Well, how do I not know that, though? When she, if somebody tells you they did something, they puts it in okay. your head to make you but believe you it. But you actually did have sex with other women. Yeah, I'm not proud of it. Why did you do it? When somebody... Why did you... She said she said... Why did listen, you sleep with other women? If she said, Answer that question. She, I'm kicked out. I have nothing. I have no one. I mean, there was somebody you there had to comfort me. me. You had you me. Okay, just, look, that's one thing. She said she, on the couch? She, she's, I, was she, you had to have sexual intercourse. Look, when she says she's too nice, that You're she not wouldn't. answering the question. No, I did. I don't. I, I, I can't answer that. I, I'm can't. sorry. I, like I said, I'm not proud. It's not a proud moment. It's not something and I'm proud of. And it's not just about. once. You've had multiple sexual encounters. It's because she's kicked me out multiple times and tell so me. So I kick you out, you didn't go. But have if you're sex why, why, did, why, did you, why didn't you tell me? If you can make me leave, the guy who's putting a house over your head. When did I ever kick you out? That's after. after. That's not when we were okay, in, after. in, in so the studio. You, you set the point of our relationship from here on out. Do you love her? I love her with all my heart, Steve. Then you wouldn't sleep with anybody else. You would try to make it work. All right, Margarita came here after 10 years. And we asked her, in your entire life, wow, right off the bat, in your entire life, have you ever had sexual physical contact with any other males besides Andrew? She answered no. In your entire life, have you had sexual intercourse with any other males besides Andrew? She answered no. Did you have any sexual activity, contact, or intercourse with that male on the recording? She answered no. In your entire life. Entire I mean, life. Man, entire entire life. life. Have you texted with any other males for the purpose of pursuing sexual physical contact? She answered no. The results came back the same to each and every question. And they came back that Margarita told the truth. <laughs> but you don't seem happy. Because you see, I'm paid to be a bad guy right now, but you know. Nobody's don't, making you out to be a bad guy. We're just saying, can you go on with your life with I the woman now. that you love? I guess I can't. And now. stop interrogating her. <laughs> stop tracking her. Stop throwing <laughs> in her face.
Can you enjoy your life? I think maybe now I can, but Steve, it wasn't that I, I, we could have did that off the beginning if she wouldn't have decided. But you did it. You didn't do it. I feel a little sorry for you right now. I really do. Because I know you really love this guy. Mm -hmm. And you've given only yourself to him. Mm -hmm. And all the years you've been alive, only him. Mm -hmm. And does he seem like a happy guy to you right now? No. No. I'm back, I mean, I'm out here embarrassing Nobody's myself. Nobody's making you out to be a bad guy. I keep telling it's you not, that. You, you feel sorry for her. You're saying all this. is making Because you don't, you, 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 she dragged her on TV. She's admitted to all these personal and deep I, I things. And I apologize to her. What do you want me to do, hug? I mean, I'm, we're on a studio. I would like you to seem happy. Is that too much? I am. I mean, I, <laughs> I am. I am. I, I'm sorry. I, 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 Happy wasn't part of my life for a while, you know? So I don't know how to react right now. Boo hoo. I've had tough times in my life. I went through rough things. But guess what? Now my life is good. I have a wonderful woman well, in my life. Maybe now my life will be good and I can learn to be happy with her now. That's all I'm that's, saying. That's all I'm saying. I'm right there with you. All right, man. Right good, luck, you. good luck, dude. Good luck, dude. I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's going to watch this and say, you know what? She was brave enough to do that. I can do that, too. Do you want to tell your story on The Steve Wilco Show? Visit the link in the description to get my help.